Christy, you will burst red balloons. Logan David, you will burst blue balloons. Housemates, climb into your zorbs and prepare to race. And they're off in the Zorb balloons. They have to burst their balloons as quick as they can. These Zorb things are amazing. How fun do they look? Oh, they're great. Now, remember, they've got to get all their balloons, their coloured balloons, and then finish on the crater at the end, guys. Yeah, and try not to bust the other persons, because you're just going to be helping them, aren't you? Logan David is bursting the blue balloons, and Christy is bursting the red balloon. Do you know what? I'd be like Dodge. Have a listen to the housemates down here. Listen to the encouragement. Now he's got to get up the crater here, David. Have a run up, Dave. What is it to go now? Go, go, go! He's in the home stretch. Ah. Nice work. Spectacular. All right. That was gold. Too easy. Logan David, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Friday Night Live. So that means the Logans will be in the reward room once again. Wow. One step for Greg, the other step for Logan. <laughs> A giant leap for Logan. It's Logan's run tonight. It is too, Mikey. Great movie. That is wicked. Well done, that is wicked. This is Big Brother. Logan David, you are the winner of the Friday Night Games. Approach the podium and pick up your award. Oh, I'm going to try it. Well done, mate. I am wicked. Oh, yeah. Thanks. They, are, they are wicked. I just wanted to do somersaults in the puppy. How did you do it? Hey, just one in ten years. Yes, there you go. Logan David, the intergalactic winner, once again on Big Brother Friday Night Live. That means his brother goes to the reward room with him because mm. they are competing as one person in the Big Brother house. Who will they take? That is the question we'll be asking. But he has done so well right from the word go tonight mm. when he was uh, in the team of Christy and Kate. Yes. Got them through, got Christy all the way through to the final round. And, uh, and also before that, when he was with Christy, they just killed it. And Christy pipped at the post again. She, yeah, well, she didn't do too well there. Not a lot of coordination, as we were no. talking about earlier. Usually she stacks it, but uh, if we're going to give Christy any points, she didn't fall on her ass tonight, so well done, Christy. No, she's done always well. competitive, well and I'm, I'm going to be very interested to see who the boys take into the rewards room tonight, because I've got no idea. Um, I really think they should take Christy, mm. just to be nice. Oh, yeah, well, you never know. Well, I think we're just about to uh, go back down to the house and see how they're looking. Let's have a open the iris. Let's have a look at the housemates and see what they're up to at the moment. Yes. Yes. Big brother, housemates, you may now enter the house. I was stuck in that car. Very happy housemates. And what an incredible night here, Big Brother Friday Night Live. The space theme, it looked fantastic down there, didn't it? Well done to them. Okay, the housemates are going back to the mothership for a quick meteor shower and a change. (laughs) We're going to take a break. But stay with us. You're watching Big Brother Friday Night Live. Welcome back to Big Brother Friday Night Live, where Logan David has just won tonight's space theme night. The housemates are back in the house, showering down and generally recovering from the games. So while they're doing that, let's take a look back at this evening's events and see how he came to win. Bree, talk us through the first event, will you please? Yeah, well, the first event was the balloon busting. Mm-hmm. And the first replay I have for you is hot dogs absolutely screaming along. Look at him. Look at him go. He, I think he used he, his he face was thirsty. there. He was thirsty for it. I reckon he probably had the fastest solo run there. And, uh, Possibly. Ryan, oh, second round. I've no, got no, another one, actually. Another one. Right? Another one, yeah. And, right. of course, we have Vesna, and she is using her bottom to its full extent. <laughs> Ready? Uh, and oh. there we go. 
it's a hard it. decision to make whether to go for the bum or the stomach. Which would hurt more? I think the stomach. It'd be like doing a belly flop. So those things, they really hurt when they explode mm. on your skin. Okay, Fitzy, the next round. Round two was the asteroid pickup, mm -hmm. Mikey. And have a look at this one. <laughs> Mel and hot dogs running along here. Have a look at Mel's face. <laughs> look, she loves being close to hot dogs. <laughs> She's happy. Every female in Australia would be, I think. Oh, come on. He's such a ladies' man. And, oh, gee, that was <laughs> hilarious. Do not put me in that category, please. Well, would you like to see another replay yes, then, Bree? Okay, Timmy and Katie here running along. This is the home stretch. Look at Katie's face. And this is the big finish. Over the line. Bang. Yes, both cases the boys taking <laughs> Holding advantage the ball, of the umpire. <laughs> and throwing the asteroids everywhere. And the final round was the big Zorb ball. Space balls out there. And the winner, of course, eventually Logan David. Let's take a look at the uh, big clash between the Zorb balls. Just as he was taking his final run up the ramp. You've got to get the run up. And he's just in over there. And the explosion... And the cameraman running over to get a good shot. There you go, mate. Mm. That was excellent. Well, what a great, great round of games tonight for the space team. Let's, uh, while they're showering down and getting ready to announce who's going to be in the reward room tonight, let's talk about war in the Big Brother house. And when I say war, I mean the war between Tim and Dean. It's been so full on this week. Almost every day they've been at it. Uh, Tim has been saying that Dean's got an ego the size of Germany. He's domineering. And uh, Dean's saying that Tim is conniving and sly. What is your take on the argument, guys? Well, me and Bree were actually having an argument before the show tonight about... She loves Dean. De Dean's no, her new hey, favourite. Yeah, it is. I, I, finally, after eight weeks, I've managed to pick a favourite. Because, to be quite honest... I found that I really enjoyed watching the show, but don't like many of the housemates. And I know that's judgmental, considering I don't know them personally. But from what I'm seeing, I didn't particularly like them. And I really think that Dean has come across as being arrogant because he doesn't like the people he's in there with. No, oh, well, what about, like, Timmy and Kate? They're good people. Did you see the yeah, Daily are. Show tonight? Mm -hmm. Dean thinks he controls every argument in the in the house. He got his dax pulled down in front of the class by no, Tim tonight. He, yeah, just, he nailed him. He just stands up for what he believes in. Do you think Tim, in that argument this afternoon, did he uh, look a little bit, little bit condescending or patronising or no? pompous yes. even? Yes, yes, very <laughs> patronising. Not at all. Not at all. And Dean thinks he can win every argument and Tim just put him back in his place. And wasn't it funny... After the argument, who did Dean go to to, to bitch about? Mm. Christy. Yeah, Christy. The other smartest one in the house. Well, Christy loves the boys. She always back them up. And Christy doesn't seem to be uh, best mates with, uh, oh, in, in the with Tim. In the words of Tim, you reckon you give me something fresh to work with? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh okay. all right. Fight up there, Breezy. Uh, yeah. Bree Amer. Hey, they're two really Another intelligent side. guys. Two really intelligent guys having debates. Like, no, oh. one intelligent guy oh, and, the, and the other one got flogged. Oh, yeah, yeah, like... Dean, like, like Dean is the alpha really, male in the house. You know, all the boys do follow him and and uh, and appreciate him. You know, he's mm. the he's the strongest, probably the best looking, and and yes. you know he's um, and he's got a big ego. A Tim things pointed that the it other out. Boys don't have, and yeah. it got smashed tonight. I'd have a big ego if I look like that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, we didn't have time for it last week, but it's back as usual tonight. The intellectual equivalent of biting down hard on your own lightsaber. I refer, of course, to I don't go to university's greatest living thinker, Professor Fitzy Fitzgerald, and his theories about house activities. Professor, show us your fundamentals. <laughs> Professor Fitzy's fundamental facts. Yeah. All right, Mikey. I've been crunching the numbers on my calculator watch this week, and I've noticed something about who wins and who they take into the rewards room. You may call it Fitzgerald's theorem, and it goes like this. Only if a male winner invites a male guest into the rewards room does it guarantee that no eviction for either of them is for this week. You got no idea? Well, let me explain. All right, then. Here we go. When Glenn won, he took in Logan. Well, actually, he took in both of them, really, because they were swapping in the first week. When Gianna won, she took in Christy. Hey, and where's Gianna now? When Rachel won, she took in Tim, but she's no longer. And so it goes on. And you'll find that my theory, I mean theorem, works every week but one. Look, even last week, the Logans took in hot dogs, and all three of them are sitting pretty. So here's the hot tip for you. Unless there's two boys in the rewards room, one of them will be singing for their supper and will get the chop tonight. Just you watch and see, Mikey. 
Watch I'm out. Like, hey. I think That's I think I've theory. got it. I think I've got it. I think I understand your theory. So if a bloke takes a bloke, then neither of them will get evicted. Is that right? Yes, I think. Talk about, talk about outer space theme. Like the space between your ears 